All right, we're back here in the course, and now we get to, to look at something very useful. How do we solve problems with life rate DXP? What's a practical example that can help us understand better what life rate DXP can help us with? We're gonna be using this example company called Livingston Hotels and Resorts. This company will help us sort of understand things better because they're a very large company. You can see here they have six global offices and they publish a popular travel journal called Livingston Life. This business is trying to accomplish several goals and they have several problems that they need to address. First of all, how do they reduce time developing their website by using existing features so they don't have to, to code them themselves? They also want to reduce their time to market and they don't want this site to be expensive. They want to reduce the site upkeep and maintenance while keeping user engagement. The business also wants to be able to gather metrics and feedback about their site. Are users using it? Do they enjoy the user experience and user interface? And the company also has many, many thousands of assets that it needs to be able to organize and display to the customer. So with those business problems in mind, we have several different roles that the business wants to use in their site. The first one is gonna be here. We have Omar Miles, he's a blog editor. So he's gonna be the one responsible for curating and publishing content through the Livingston Life blog. We also have the static content creator, Mariah Flores, who's gonna be on the web team and creating that custom static web content. So every website has its system administrator. So here we have Josiah Copeland. He's gonna be responsible for the user management, deactivating users, creating users, you know, all of those things, and just in general overseeing the platform. If you have a marketer in your company, for example, Natalia Michaels, she's gonna be the one responsible for advertising materials and various news on that site. Every team needs a web designer. He's gonna be the one that says, hey, this is what I want our company's brand to look like, and I want to leverage LifeRay to do that. So for every designer, there has to be someone who does the dirty work, and that's gonna be Kaito Tanaka. He's the web developer. He's gonna be the one responsible for taking those designs and for creating that website. So all of LifeRay's applications are gonna be grouped into these four suites. The first one is foundation. That's where a lot of core LifeRay applications reside. There's also collaboration. Again, this is the blogs, mentions, comments, all of that sort of thing. Uh, LifeRay forms and workflow, which you'll probably use that one as well quite a bit. And then finally, LifeRay web experience, which is um, involves that creation of assets and all of that. All right, so how do we cut development time? Well, to do this, one thing we can use LifeRay for is, let's say we have an existing authentication system that we wanna now, um, we don't wanna to throw that away. So what we wanna do is use LifeRay's configuration to integrate that authentication. You're definitely gonna to wanna to make use of LifeRay's permission system, which is very fine-grained, and can match with all of the um, different you know, roles that you have in your business that can translate directly into LifeRay's permission system. So how do we cut time to market? Basically, what we're asking here is, how do we get new sites, pages, and content out quickly, making that process smooth. Well, the way we can do that is through the foundation suites and life rate web experience suites. The way we can do this is we have, you know, four different breaking down of how do we create a site? Well, at the highest level, we have these site templates, which allow you to create multiple sites using the same template. Then going a little more detailed here, we have page templates. So let's say you have similar layouts within your site. You can create a page template to you know, create multiple pages. And then even finer detail, we have those content and widget templates and even page fragments. Let's say you wanna use, you don't wanna use the exact same page across your site, but you wanna use part of it, well then you can use a page fragment. All right, we talked about how Livingston wants to cut administrative costs. One way they can do that is through the self-service system and collaboration. So remember the business needs to automate the publication of different content, and they also want to allow user collaboration and feedback for that content. So what you would use for this is the web experience app suite and life rate collaboration app suite. And within those app suites, we have asset publisher, which publishes all the assets across your site. 
and we have ratings and comments to allow the users to comment and rate your web content. How do we gather user metrics and user feedback? So what we're talking about here is the business is trying to make metrics driven decisions and they want real data. So we can use the Liferay forms and workflow app suite to accomplish that as well as analytics cloud. How do we use Liferay forms and workflow? Well, we can create custom forms for our website and use those throughout our website. Anyone can do this. They don't have to be a web developer. There's no need to create your own front end. You can just create your own form using your own custom fields. You can localize that form and you can use it across your website. Pretty easy. If you want more, then you can look into using Liferay DXP Analytics Cloud. It has a lot more features to give you a really good idea of what's going on on your website. One of the last business needs we talked about, if you, don't, if you remember previously, is we said uh, Livingston needs to be able to organize thousands of assets because they have a lot of products. So how do they do that with Liferay? Well, with Liferay Web Experience, we can make use of the following document folders and subfolders to help with the organization. You can also tag your assets using our tagging system, and you can also organize by document type. And finally, we have CMIS repository integration. So we're at the knowledge check. So what are the four application suites that Liferay is gonna use to meet the customer's needs? And you can see the four options here. You can read over those, put in your answers, and I'll show the answers on the next slide. What are the out of the box features that comes with Liferay? You want to remember these for the times when you, you need to implement some business request and you think, how can I do that? You want to remember this lesson. So first of all, forms and workflow. This includes the workflow engine, rules engine, and applications used to create and store data with your own custom forms. Liferay Foundation, this is where you're going to want to go for all of the core applications involving administration, menus, and different editors. Web experience is where you're going to go if for all of the uh, functionality to create that static web content and also to track it. And finally, we have Liferay Collaboration. This suite is about the collaborative functionality. So comments and mentions, you know, things you see in typical intranets, and as well as the widgets that Liferay has, such as message boards and blocks. All right, so what we did in this video is we talked about how do we solve real business needs, and we use Livingston as an example. So that was great, let's move on to the next video.